Peru have the best performance in the condom use in female sex workers because in that moment the sex workers are legal and they have every two weeks a visit to the health center, they are a special health center, and then we educated to these female, the San Marcos University and other groups, and we also uh, we, uh, we work together to try to promote this. The idea is don't uh, don't say, ah, you need to stop the AIDS epidemic, please use condom, and that way you don't transmit it to others. This is unfair. We say, no, you are a woman who have two lives. You are working as a female sex worker, but in the morning they give the breakfast to the kids, they put the kids in the school, they go to the school to discuss, and they say, you need to protect yourself to avoid to have kids without mother. And we say, you need to protect. In this way, they, they move in, and only in five years, we have 95% using condom in the burdelos in Peru, in Lima especially. And then, this was transmitted between this woman to other women. They transmitted like a informant. They say, yeah, yes, it's very useful, the use of condom. No, the men don't like it. Yeah, yes, we need to promote this. Uh, we increase the price if they don't like it. They, they, they make a lot of activities to try to use and what happened? Right now, Peru, after 30 years, have the lowest HIV infection in female sex workers. That is around 1% or even less than 1%. When you have in New York almost 40%, or in Thailand you have 20%, that, that is the, the impact of this. Of course, this impact in HIV also produces impact in HIV-1. That is the, the, the goal, that is promote the use of condoms. Of course, it's not perfect because the men are using condom when they go to the burdelos, but they have a sex very informal. They are not using condom. We try to push to the people to use condom in any uh, sexual intercourse outside from the formal partner. That is a risk. By definition, it's not to have a well only with sex worker. We say any, any uh, sexual intercourse is risk, and that is our goal. And Peru is increased a lot of the use of condom in these uh, sexual activities. It's one of the countries who have more use of condoms right now. In conjunction with the control of the HIV, we, we promote the use of condom when you have uh, a, a risk a sexual uh, uh, activity. What is risk? Any partner outside of your former partner. The, the people feel risk is only when you go to the female sex worker. Say, no, 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 any partner. If you are monogamous, it's okay. But if you have other partner, that uh, sexual intercourse is dangerous from different diseases. And one of the diseases, of course, is HTLV1. The other idea is um, when we are looking to the family, and we try to educate the family, we try to look in the other cases because in that condition you can prevent. If it's a woman, we say, you can have kids, but don't provide breastfeed. Only you are very poor and you have not water supply, you have not sewage system, you have not refrigerator, okay, it's better for your kid, your breastfeed, but not more than six months. In that way, we reduce the risk and we improve the quality of the life from this baby because if you stop in the very, very poor condition, the breastfeed is, is too dangerous. And Peru and Brazil are the two countries in the 90s who are doing blood screening from this virus. And we prevent, in 14 years, in 14 years, we prevent 30,000 infections in Peru from this virus. And that is one of if somebody say me, well, what you are doing from your country? This is one of my uh, main, uh, uh, I, go, I can say, good news for my country because I prevent 30,000 with this research who finished in the national guidelines. Uh, and in 2000, I published a paper from Latin America, one international journal, but I pushed to the Latin America people to try to make a blood screening. You go to Colombia, you go to Venezuela, and you have one accident, you need to cruise the finger if your donor has the virus and say, why? You need to do the screening. Of course, in the private clinics they are doing, but they still is not national guidelines.